Brandon, Brody, Akash, and Grant got the go to go to this World Cup in Germany in Stuttgart. My dream is to compete at the Tokyo Olympics. We had everything going for us and it was just taken away like that. It's not like, oh, one person is out for the entire season. It's the world is out for the whole season. The moment we closed the gym, I felt like 30 years of my best and hardest work got stolen from me by no fault of my own. I mean, I went from one day thinking like, oh, I'm going to Germany, going to compete at the World Cup next week, to five days later, I'm flying back home indefinitely with no return ticket to California. I feel bad for all the seniors and on all teams because I know it must be very hard to let your last season go like this. It's a bummer that I won't be able to uh, wear the Nittany Lion again, compete in Rec Hall one last time, you know? It was just like a whirlwind of emotions because everything you train for goes into that year. So I'm doing single pommel work, um, a lot of presses, handstand push-ups, and running to stay in shape. Like the only thing I have is a drill station and it's impossible to do full routines on there. I can only train not even half of the skills that I do in my routine on it. We've been very fortunate. Our clients understand how rare it is to have something like this in this small of a community. And we have a lot of people still paying tuition, which is fantastic. Um, unfortunately though, I've also lost my individual route of getting to the Olympics. I still have a chance, so I'm gonna just be training my absolute hardest. And if we do get one of those plus one spots, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my hardest to be the guy for that spot. We as a gymnastics community have pulled together during this tough time. and I, I like to stay positive and just look at uh, the glasses half full. We have to figure our way through this. It can be done. But he sticks with this now.